A lot of things may have changed in America in the year 2050. But remember, at the center of any healthy living plan is you. Your initiative and your priorities must take the center stage. Make sure that when you're planning, every step towards healthy living includes goal setting, planning, execution, consideration for increasingly scarce resources of our dying planet. Using this four-step method, nothing is beyond your reach, except the many things that are extinct, banned, or ruined forever. If you live in one of the 42 habitable states, you have a lot to be thankful for and plenty of exercise opportunities, many of which you probably didn't even think of. Do you live in New York? Try swimming to work instead of a rideshare canoe. Do you live in Texas? Try turning down the air conditioning and seeing how long you can sweat. Do you live in the eye of California's perpetual fire maelstrom? Try some especially hot yoga. Whether your environment is inundated or on fire or inundated, there are tried and true methods for your 175 square foot living capsule. Yoga, lifting chairs, sitting and standing up again, lying on the ground and then getting up, bending, walking in place, opening and shutting cabinets, or save your meal credits and try walking in place while touring the Amazon rainforest, Fiji, or the savanna before they were deserts. Or sit in a solitary corner and let the VR assistant do the walking. Helpful hint, turn off the lights and hold the screen two inches from your face. That saves on the already overtaxed power grid. You're probably wondering how an average person like you can improve their diet. After all, people live on a government standard ration of 1,650 calories a day, consisting of the four basic food groups, corn, okra, soy-based meat substitute, and pills. And we all love it. It's true that deviating too far from the government diet will result in fines or forced labor in the superheated desert flats of Arizona, but that doesn't mean you can't mix it up a bit, slightly, to achieve your maximum nutritional and spiritual balance. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Although most forms of fishing, hunting, farming, and foraging are prohibited, some regions have allowed creative culinary practices to thrive. Did you know? Algae is edible. Some algae. Algae blooms are frequent in habitable coastal zones. Instead of just counting dead marine life, why not put on that hazmat suit and go algae picking? If done right, an algae salad is a fantastic break from the monotony of okra. And of course, if done wrong, it will kill you. How about locust fajitas? Thanks to Oregon's periodic monsoons, much of the remaining agricultural land is subject to massive locust outbreaks and famines. But we humans can have the last laugh. By harvesting the locusts and cooking them with okra, you can have a treat best enjoyed blindfolded. Don't forget the dirt cookies. If you're lacking minerals in your diet, then perhaps it's time to relive the lost art of desert with a dirt cookie. Originally from Haiti and popularized in the 2038 Disney remake of Ratatouille, dirt cookies are the perfect way to end a meal. The common ingredients are some common dirt, water, and you're done. Why not add a little zest to your dirt cookies and put in a little okra? You might think, day after day, going to work in the carbon sequestration pits or other jobs, that it'd be better off for everyone, especially yourself, if you just ended it all. After all, every new human on the planet requires resources and leaves behind a deadly carbon footprint. Wouldn't it just be better to let those resources go to someone smarter, stronger, better suited to the hostile world we now inhabit? You think about what your death could mean. How your friend could marry and have that child he's currently barred from having. Maybe you've hit your 37th birthday 
and you can only expect to live five, maybe six more years anyway. Isn't carrying on selfish? The world doesn't need me. My existence is a drain on everyone around me, and I can never repay the burden that I have placed on society, except by finally saying goodnight to hope that my soul can return in better times when people make the world stronger instead of destroying it one breath at a time. Well, cheer up. After all, if everyone killed themselves, there'd be no one left. And that'd be sad although environmentally sound. So let's talk about a few ways to keep those dark, well-reasoned thoughts at bay. Trees. Is there a tree within 20 miles of your habitat? Well, get in line to enjoy some of that natural shade. You'll find that the suicidal thoughts that linger in your daily thought portfolio will seem less oppressive. Esports. You might not mean much in the real world, but in the virtual world of gaming, even a useless heap of carbon can find significance. Start training today. You'll find a few virtual trophies are the perfect distraction. Affirmations. Do you have a mirror? Stand in front of it for 20 to 30 minutes a day and try some positive affirmations. Some of the most popular include this will all end soon. Someday, I'm going to eat real meat. I'm going to travel the world in an airplane. If those methods don't work, be sure your suicide pill is FDA approved. Look for Simon the Happy Bee. Yes, the world has changed. Some would argue for the worst. But for you and your health goals, it just doesn't need to be that way. This has been your health guide, updated for your modern life. Goodbye. This is Dave Life with the Dave Life Show. Keep it locked to Dave Life TV for original content like the Chi Town Atlas podcast, the Black Collar Investor, and of course, DLTV News. Follow us on all platforms at Dave Life TV.